Hello students, welcome back to the mathematics class. In the previous session, we have studied the syllabus for our paper first. Now we will start the syllabus with the unit 2 that is real analysis first. In that we will study about the Jacobians and properties of Jacobians. Here let us see what you mean by Jacobians. Jacobians is a determinant which is defined for a finite number of functions of the same number of variables and in which each row consisting of the first partial derivatives of the same function with respect to the each of the variables. Suppose I will take an example here. If you hear Jacobians means a determinant. Here the determinant consisting of the same number of sorry finite number of functions of the same number of variables. Here each row consisting of the first partial derivatives of the same function first partial derivatives of the same function means suppose if you consider a function u that is dou u the first partial derivatives of the same function with respect to the variables here with respect to the variables variables partial derivatives means dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y this is the determinant of order 1 that is first partial derivatives dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y. Here we can denote this as also j that is capital J Jacobian equal to determinant of dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y. This is the uh, determinant of or uh, the Jacobian of order 1. Next we will study about the Jacobian of order 2. Here we will consider two functions that is let u and v are the functions of two independent variables. Independent variables that is x and y which can with with continuous partial derivatives dou u by dou x dou v by dou y dou u by dou a dou y dou v by dou x then jacobian of order 2 can be uh, in the written in the determinant form as dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou v by dou x dou v by dou y the first row consists uh, consisting of the same function with uh, partial derivatives of the uh, variables dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y same function with the variables that is dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y is called the Jacobian or the functions of determinant of u and v with respect to x and y functions u and v with respect to x and y and it is denoted by the Jacobian can be denoted as dou u comma v divided by dou x comma y which also denoted as j dou u comma v divided by dou x comma y equal to j here function u with respect to the independent variables x and y and function v with respect to independent variables x and y here dou u comma v divided by dou x comma y which is equal to it can be uh, represented in the determinant form as dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou u by dou x dou u by dou y is the Jacobian of order 2. This is of, uh, this is about the Jacobian of order 2. Next we will see the Jacobian of order 3. Jacobians of order 3. Here we consider three functions that is if u, v and w are the functions of independent variables uh, x, y and z then the Jacobian of can be written as dou u comma v comma w divided by dou x comma y comma z which can be represented in the determinant form as dou u by dou x dou u by dou y dou u by dou z dou v by dou x dou v by dou y dou v by dou z dou w by dou x dou w by dou y dou w by dou z here the function with respect to x y z v with the function v as the function with respect to x y z and w as the function with respect to x y z this is the Jacobian of order 3 next we will see Jacobian of order n Jacobian of order n. Here we have n number of functions and n number of independent variables. Uh, let us see if u1, comma u2, so on up to un are the functions. These are the n number of functions of independent variables that is x1, comma x2, so on up to xn. These are the n number of independent variables. Then the Jacobian can be written as do of u1, comma u2, so on up to un divided by dou of x1 comma x2 so on of to xn which is equal to it, it can be represented in the determinant form as dou u1 comma dou x1 
डो यू वन कॉमा डो एक्स टू डो यू वन कॉमा डो एक्स थ्री सो वन ऑफ टू डो यू वन कॉमा डो एक्स एन दैट इज द सेम फंक्शन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द वेरिएबल्स डो यू वन कॉमा डो एक्स वन डो यू वन कॉमा डो एक्स टू सो ऑन नेक्स्ट इन द सेकेंड रो वी हैव अगेन वन फंक्शन नेक्स्ट फंक्शन दैट इज डो यू टू कॉमा डो एक्स वन डो यू टू कॉमा डो एक्स टू डो यू टू कॉमा डो एक्स थ्री सो वन ऑफ टू डो एक्स डो यू टू कॉमा डो डो एक्स एन हियर सिमिलरली वी कैन राइट डो यू टू डो यू थ्री कॉमा डो एक्स वन डो यू थ्री कॉमा डो एक्स टू सो वन ऑफ टू डो यू यू एन कॉमा डो एक्स वन डो यू एन कॉमा डो एक्स टू सो वन ऑफ टू डो यू एन कॉमा डो एक्स एन दिस इज द जोकोबियन ऑफ ऑर्डर एन नेक्स्ट वील स्टडी द जोकोबियन प्रॉपर्टीज हियर फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी वील स्टडी दैट इज स्टेटमेंट यू इफ यू कॉमा वी आर द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई इफ यू एंड वी आर द फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई एंड एक्स कॉमा वाई आर द फंक्शन ऑफ आर कॉमा एस देन वी हैव टू प्रूव हेयर डो ऑफ यू कॉमा वी डिवाइडेड बाय डो ऑफ आर कॉमा एस इक्वल टू डो ऑफ यू कॉमा वी डिवाइडेड बाय डो ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई इन टू डो ऑफ एक्स कॉमा वाई डिवाइडेड बाय डो ऑफ आर कॉमा एस इन द प्रूफ वी हैव टू प्रूव एल एच एस इक्वल टू आर एच एस नेक्स्ट here given is here since u and v are the functions of x and y u and v are the functions u and v are the functions of u and v are the functions of x and y and x and y are the functions of r and s x and y are the functions of r and s next here we want the function with respect to r u with the function uh, u the function with respect to r and u the function with respect to s that is do u by do r and do u by do s do u by do r and do u by do s do v by do r and do v by do s that is do u by do r do u by do s do v by do r and do v by do s here continuous partial differentiation can be written as do u by do r which is equal to do u by do x into do x by do r plus do u by do y into do y by do r this do u by do r can be written as do u by do x into do x by do r plus do u by do y into do y by do r next do u by do s can be written as for continuous partial uh, differentiation do u by do x into do x by do s plus do u by do y into do y by do s similarly we can write do u by do r and do u by do s next we will consider the lhs part that is do u do u comma v divided by do r comma s which can be represented in the determinant form as do u by do r into do u by do s do u by do s into do u do u by do r into sorry do u by do r and do u by do s next here in place of do u by do r we can substitute this value in place of do u by do r we can substitute this value and in place of do u by do s we can substitute this value and in place of do u by do, uh, do r this and in case of do u by do s we can substitute this values that is substitute here that is do u by do x into do x by do r plus do u by do y into do y by do r similarly we can substitute the all values next we will split the determinant here how to split the determinant here if we multiply the first row elements with the first column elements we will find this value and first row elements with the second column elements we will find this and with the first and the second row elements with the first column first column elements we will find this in the second row uh, elements with the second column elements we will find this that is do u by do x into do x by do r that is do u by do x into do x by do r plus do u by do y into do y by do r that is do u by do y into do y by do r next first row elements with the second column elements that is do u by do x into do x by do s do u by do x into do x by do s plus do u by do x into do u by do sorry do u by do y into do y by do x that is do u by do y into do u by do y into do y by do x similarly second row elements with the first column elements second row elements with the second column elements that is the value this further this determinant can be written as do u do u comma v divided by do x comma y and do x comma y 
divided by do r comma s here u and v are the function with respect to x and y and x and y are the functions with respect to r and s so we have proved this that is do u comma v divided by do r comma s equal to do u comma v divided by do x comma y into do x comma y divided by do r comma s this hence lhs equal to rhs we have proved the property next we have the property 2 here according to property 2 here we have to prove if u and v are the functions of x comma y then we have to prove here do of u comma v divided by do of x comma y into do of x comma y divided by do of u comma v equal to 1 here what do you have given if we have to consider here some proof that is if u equal to f1 of x comma y and v is the function with uh, v is the function with respect to x and y that is v equal to f2 of x comma y then we can express x comma y as a functions of u comma y if u equal to f1 of x comma y and v equal to f2 of x comma y then we can express this x comma y as a functions of u comma v as x equal to f1 of u comma v and y equal to f2 of u comma v next differentiating this function u of u equal to f1 of x comma y and v equal to f2 of x comma y partially with respect to u and v we get if you differentiate this function then we will get that is if you differentiate that is u equal to f1 of x comma y if we differentiate this function partially with respect to u and y we will get that is do u by do u and next is do u the function do x into do x by do u here we are differentiate with respect to u plus do u by do y the function into do y by do u do y by do u here do u by do u is 1 do u by do is 1 that is do u by do x into do x by do u plus do u by do y into do y by do u equal to 1 next the function with respect to the same function with respect to v do u by do v equal to do u by do x into do x by do u sorry with respect to v that is with respect to v plus do u by do y into do y by do v here we have uh, this is the now this will be the constant function if we differentiate with v then this will be zero that is do u by do x into do x by do v plus do u by do y into do y by do u equal to zero next will be we will differentiate this function with respect to u and with respect to v if we differentiate this function with respect to u then it will be zero and with uh, with respect to v means it will be one that is do u by do x into do x by do v plus do v by do y into do v, do y by do v which is equal to one next here now we consider the lhs that is do u comma v divided by do x comma y into do x comma y divided by do u comma v that is the lhs part here this can be written in the determinant form as do u comma sorry do u divided by do x do u by do y do v by do x in uh, do v by do y into determinant do x by do u do x by do v do x by sorry do y by do u and do y by do v do y by do u and do y by do v these are the determinants next we will multiply here uh, multiplication of the determinants that is multiply the first row elements with the first column elements and first first row elements with the second column elements next second row elements with the first column elements and second row elements with the second column elements that is do u by do x into do u by uh, sorry do x by do u do u by do x into do x by do u plus do u by do y into do y by do x that is do u by do y into do y by do x next first row elements with the second column elements that is do u by do x do u by do x do u by do x into 
डो एक्स बाय डो वी प्लस डो यू बाय डो आई इंटू डो आई बाय डो वी फर्स्ट फर्स्ट रो एलिमेंट्स विद द सेकंड कॉलम एलिमेंट्स नेक्स्ट सेकंड रो एलिमेंट्स विद द फर्स्ट कॉलम एलिमेंट्स एंड सेकंड रो एलिमेंट्स विद द सेकंड कॉलम एलिमेंट्स वी विल फाइंड दिस डिटरमिनेंट नेक्स्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ डो यू बाय डो एक्स इंटू डो एक्स बाय डो यू प्लस डो यू बाय डो आई इंटू डो एक्स बाय डो यू विल बी हियर द वैल्यू ऑफ डो यू बाय डो एक्स इंटू डो एक्स बाय डो यू प्लस डो यू बाय डो आई इंटू डो आई बाय डो यू विल बी वन That is, this value is one, and this value will be zero. This value will be zero, and this value will be one. Here we will substitute the values of these values. <coughs> Next, your determinant will be one. That is, one minus zero will be one. This is about the second property. Hence, do, do u comma v divided by do x comma y into do x comma y divided by do u comma v equal to one. Hence, we have proved LHS equal to RHS. Hope. Uh, you have understood the two properties in the next class we will come with the third property so thank so thank you stay home stay safe